Hello there and welcome back to a, another video here on the Master Moldy channel and today is a big one. You would have seen at the start of yesterday's video I mentioned about the brand new draw set and this one is not for me in the way that the rest of them are but is purely just for business, nothing personal because I have decided to open up a Bricklink store and soon a Brick Owl store. We'll get one out of the way, but I'm sure I'll probably be working on both of them in no time and start trying to drum up a little extra profit so that we can afford some of these new Star Wars sets. I will admit that is purely the reason behind this. Some of these sets are outrageously expensive and I would love to be able to purchase them to review on the channel, but something like the Silac Pit, I really can't justify spending some of my money and hoping to get a small bit back through just making a video on it. There's not really much else content to make. So I've decided to open a Bricklink store and all of the profits will be going straight back into the channel, which means hopefully we can get a load more review sometime down the line when the store is big enough. We can just be putting all the profit to buying new sets and also restock in the store as well because I realize now after starting this process it's quite a costly adventure. Nothing too expensive, probably not as expensive as most of you might think but there's definitely some things that I didn't realize that were involved. So we will be taking a look at inventory in a second because you can see I have pulled up my shelf down there with sets that eventually I will be parting out, hopefully over this weekend actually. I did end up recording tomorrow's video early because I am having a break today when this video goes out, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to inventory that and I will show you the process once it is done. You can see we have a whole tray of empty drawers. I think there's something like 39 drawers I think in this whole thing but because they've got dividers that's 78 different sections you can see just like all my other drawers they are divided we'll ignore that we do need to deal with that at some point but first let's talk about the new Bricklink store and another reason I am opening this Bricklink store is because a lot of stores especially in the UK being in the UK it's I want to say it's quite expensive to ship everywhere else it's actually not because the people that are in the UK are still charging three, four pounds delivery. So I have set up delivery already. As I said, I only need to whack all of these sets into the inventory and it's up and running. But I'll have another video when it's all ready to go and hopefully we'll have set up a brick ad account as well. But I'm going to take you through the process. I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me count all the pieces out. But in terms of orders, and perhaps I can even do like a monthly completion video of packing all of your orders if that's something you would like to see. Also, there is going to be a poll in the community tab. Let me know if you'd like to see magazines shipped outside of the UK. I will not be shipping these around the UK because it's really just not cost effective. But would you like to see them shipped outside the UK? I know you could probably just pick up the figures on Bricklink and Brick Out anyway, but the actual magazines, is that something the rest of the world outside of Europe would like to see? And the few areas in Europe that I didn't realize don't get the magazine. It's not all of Europe getting the magazine. It's just most of us and there's a few people that aren't unheard. I don't know why Lego don't ship it to all of Europe, but to be fair, I don't know why America aren't getting this. Magazines are definitely a thing over there. So why don't they just they could probably even provide them through Lego, but I guess it's not them exactly making the magazines. It can't be if they're not providing it to everyone. And the figures aren't that great. So we've got Vader in the recent one, in the upcoming one, and then we've got Sabine. Sabine is an amazing figure. But this year, we've got figures like Chewbacca, Vader, the one after Sabine. If you are a part of the Discord, you will know. And for the price you're paying for one of them, you're better off just buying the set that they are in. So I don't know if it's going to be profitable or well, it's not going to be profitable buying these magazines and trying to ship them across the world. But if you would like to pick up the magazines, definitely let me know. And if there is a majority of you that would like to see the magazines, perhaps I can try and order a bunch and ship them out to you every month. So it's been a while since my camera has been in this position. If you didn't know, this is how I used to record all of my videos. There are a few close-ups at the desk, 
But for the most part, the camera was just stationed on the end of my desk, pointing this way, and I'd just sit and waffle about some Star Wars lore. But the sets that I've picked up, we'll go through them in size order, smallest to largest, and I just want to explain what drew me to each of these sets, because this is brand new to me. I will be shipping new parts. I feel like used parts are great, but I'm diving straight in with new parts, trying to drum up the profits for the new sets. I don't expect to sell all of these straight away and be able to buy all of the new sets. This is probably not even gonna cover the Dark Falcon when I take away the actual costs of these sets. But the smallest set of the bunch, because it's a set that really interests me, and. I've looked at these sets and gone, would I want the parts? Is there enough parts? Do I think the parts themselves can actually sell for this value? It's going to be a lot of learning on this BrickLink store. So we'll find out perhaps in a year's time, I'll take a look back at these sets, do a probably a reaction to this video and see if the sets I picked up could have been a little better. But all of these were got on some sort of sale or promotion. So I'm not gonna feel too bad about it. Starting off with the space construction mech. I am very tempted to keep this minifigure. I, I will be uploading it to the store. I don't know how much minifigures go for, but it's probably only gonna be a couple quid. So I could end up keeping the minifigure because I have this BAM selection. If you've seen the video, you'll know that I managed to pick up most of the pieces. I've pied together everything besides the torso for the alien, which is a built a minifigure exclusive torso. But I've got the green and the dark blue space man. Do I really need the orange one? I feel like these are cool because they are on build a minifigure but I'm not a collector. I can't afford to be a collector at this point. And I'll be honest, there's so many of these space sets. If I really wanted this minifigure, I think there's a triple pack that also comes with a blue astronaut and another one that I could just switch the arms up for perhaps one of the other colors. If I really wanted to collect all the astronauts, I'd probably go with the triple pack. So I will be adding this to my brick link store. I'm trying not to keep the minifigures. There is only one exception to all of these sets. There's one minifigure that I will be keeping and that is for my fiance anyway. But it's a really nice set. I'm a fan of the mechs in general, the Marvel ones, the Spider-Man ones, the Star Wars ones, I guess Spider-Man is Marvel. But this has a much more Lego piece centered build. There's none of them big limbs. There's none of that torso piece. It's all parted together. And it definitely reminds me of the old Power Miners mech that I got. So I think this is going to be quite a good parts pack. We've got a little droid as well. I don't know if I'll part out the droid. These are things that I've got to be thinking of now. Do I part out the droid or do I keep the droid as another character and sell them? It's probably more efficient to part out the droid, especially if there's some printed pieces, which I can see. But this is the first set. Let's get to the next. Now, the next set is actually the first set that I picked up. And there is two of them because this Friends set, I've just noticed that the Friends don't have the titles. This looks like some lunchtime food truck. So this food truck from the Lego Friends line just really interests me. It was a third off, so £6 for what looks like a load of pieces. And it comes with this newish blue, which right now is quite a pricey blue. It's the same colour, I believe, that comes in the new Harry Potter Ford Anglia and the Ford Anglia has a few new pieces. I'd be intrigued to see if there's any recolors in here of new pieces and there's a few stickers. I really like this happy cross on so I might piece this together. To be fair I'll probably just wipe the sticker sheet up. If you want this happy cross on check out my brick link store when the video goes out and I know it's all good and it's definitely a fun little build but as I said I did pick up two of these because they were on sale and I will be honest, I thought why not? I think one of the minifigures, Jules here, is actually exclusive to this set and friends do tend to have a few more exclusive minifigures than something like Star Wars does. So I guess that goes in my favor as well. I'm pretty sure this Spaceman's come in a few of the larger sets. I'll be intrigued to see how well these do because as I said, they were both cheap sets. They're both quite small sets at that. So there's not too many pieces, but something that I definitely got for the parts pack, if you will, for my BrickLink store. Does that still count as a parts pack? Is this Valentine's heart. You can customize it. It comes with a load of pink 
hearts and flowers and a lot of them have been on the pab wall especially the big flowers and the very little ones but it also comes with a load of leaves branches and it's just really cool for anyone trying to build quite a leafy mock it will be quite handy again i don't really know what these are worth so perhaps i can try and add some values on screen but it's hard to quantify what lego's actually worth because you don't know until it's sold you can see that in the last six months people have sold for this but in that last six months perhaps they weren't available as easily as they are now especially after the june wave quite a few new sets have come out and that means there's a load more parts on the market now this is the set that i'm still in the minifigure from this is julian's birthday party so julian will be going to my fiance because if you haven't seen the shorts she has got and built and actually i did a very quick speed review of two of the other animal crossing sets so as you can see i don't know why i've got the boxes the shorts have been recorded in fact one of them's up so perhaps that's a bit more space we can clear but we've now got three animal crossing sets this one isn't going to my fiance it is going for a parts pack and that is purely because well it doesn't really look much like animal crossing now i can't say i've stuck around animal crossing long enough around my birthday to know if there is some decorations to go up i've rarely played it i really struggle to play games like this that you sort of have to tend to i was amazing when i was younger but now i just rather build lego i guess but the minifigure is really really cool and i really like the exclusive new head molds for each of the characters i think all of them have a brand new mold that is like no other so that is really really cool i will be taking the minifigure out and the rest of the parts we've got cupcake cases we've got the new cake topper which looks really cool we've got some of these pink blossom trees and the brand new stump mold which is new for animal crossing and would look good really good in fact in some of really any displays with a tree i guess city and that sort of stuff so i apologize if there's any glare coming off of these we've got one more set to go and again i bought two of these because they were priced at 25 pound each and i picked both of them up for 30 pound the next best i could see was two for 34 but you gotta love an argos 2 for 30 it is the race car and the race car truck the race car and car carrier truck as i said i do have two of these it does look like a really cool parts pack there are some unique elements in here as well which i don't know if that's gonna hurt the store or if that's gonna help the store because it does mean that they can be a bit more pricey but it also means the less people are looking for them which is usually why they are a bit more pricey the rarer elements but it also comes with two really good mini figures again the figures will be going up on the store i've got a ton of lego city mini figures that I'm not using myself so I really don't need any more of them again if I wanted the minifigures I could probably just pick up another set down the line in a sal but I think they're really cool I think the big part of the minifigures that I like is the flat cap on top but it doesn't really work with any of my figures so this is my first ever Lego investment and you know what potentially the last let's hope not let's hope that this does continue on into the future and there are some gains to be got from this even if this just covers some of the cheaper sets i review here on the channel i think it's gonna really really help out especially with the rising prices of lego i mean these cost enough even on a sale i set myself a hundred pound budget for this and that includes all of the different packing equipment and i said i'd take you through it I might as well show you what else I got for the Bricklink store. I've just had a look back at that footage real quickly and that is definitely the reason I no longer do that angle. It's a lot harder to check, make sure I'm in focus and there was a bit of glare. It was all right from what I saw, but I'm going to be editing later and see this blurry, out of focus, glary shot and want to redo the whole thing. But I have also bought some sort of packing materials and you know the the boring bit that you need when running a store and i've actually managed to fit it all check out that funko display i don't show it off a lot but i'm really happy with the batch and all my soakers on display it's actually in the bottom of this section here you can see that massive box is packed to the brim of these smaller envelopes i feel like 
unless we get any large orders i'll probably whack them in boxes and better protect them so this is the perfect size for what i need there is a hundred of them in here and i've also ordered a whole bag of fresh ziploc bags because it's just easier than trying to use a few of my own they're not the cleanest i want this top quality for any of you deciding to buy lego so if you're looking at any of these sets thinking you could do with some of the parts perhaps you can even do with some of the minifigures except for julian nor julian i'll try and blur them out so you're not tempted but if you're looking at these thinking you could do with some of the parts for your mock stick around Make sure you do drop a like on this video to let me know you want to see more of this behind the scenes and subscribe so you don't miss out when the Bricklink store goes live and all of this is available. But I guess I should probably get this video edited so I can now start to fill up that draw unit. It is still very, very intimidating, but I'm slowly getting used to it. But let me know down in the comments if we'll first go over to the community poll and let me know if you would like to see the full magazines shipped. I'm not quite sure how much it would work out for shipping because they're not heavy, but they are definitely quite big. So I might have to send them in small parcels, but it's something that I can figure out if you would like it. Also, let me know in the comments when you come back from that community poll, if you would like to see me wrapping some of your packages. I guess I could have it based on requests if you don't want all of your orders to be seen. I'm not gonna share names or anything. I'm just gonna show the process behind me getting the Lego from the drawer to the Ziploc bag, to the letter, and then perhaps sending it off or having our own little ceremony to celebrate the first couple of hundred packages. But I am very excited for what the future holds for this channel. I can't wait to have my Bricklink store up and running. And don't worry, just because I am also working on that does not mean the videos will be slowing, stopping anytime soon. I'm still gonna be uploading daily. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna sacrifice my sleep before I sacrifice these videos. So I hope you enjoy. Check out all the videos on your screen now and may the bricks be with you always.